Hello, and welcome to the Fix-It Shed. If you enjoy saving money by doing things yourself, you're going to want to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything. So this week I've got my Cobalt 40 volt max string trimmer and it's running out of string. So I looked at a couple of different options. You could go to Lowe's and buy a single spool replacement for about $13. And that just, you just pop this cover off, you put the spool in, you thread it through the holes, you put the cover back on, and you're ready to go. Additionally, I found a pack of four replacement spools that you get on Amazon. Um, it was about $27 for the four spools, so it's about half the cost per spool as opposed to buying the single spool at Lowe's. So even less expensively, you get a spool like this that has 280 feet on it. So when you restring it yourself, the directions recommend that you not use more than 13 feet. So you could actually restring the trimmer over 20 times with this one spool that costs $17. So you want to get line that is 80 thousandths of an inch or 8 hundredths of an inch, however you want to say that, or two millimeters. So I just bought this Maxi Edge to try it out. I don't have any experience with it, but I'll put a link in the description if you want to try it out too. Okay, so I put this piece of tape on the wall. It's about six and a half feet off the floor. Yeah, that's six and a half feet. All right, so, and that way, if I loop it from here down to the floor and back, that would be 13 feet, which is what they recommend. So I'm gonna loop it down and back. It's, I'm holding it down on the floor with my feet. And we got a nice little cutter with the string. So I'm just gonna use that to trim it. There we go. All right, so now we should have 13 feet of line to put in the trimmer. Please be sure to remove the battery before working on the trimmer. So Cobalt has made this super, super easy. You just want to make sure that these two arrows are lined up. So when they're lined up, okay, there's going to be a hole in the spool that is going to line up here. So there, it says line in right here. And so now you can just thread the line in through this hole. And it comes out the other side. Okay, and then you just want to make it so that it's even. On, you know, you have about six and a half feet on both sides. Okay, now we just want to start turning this, the button. You want to turn that in a counterclockwise direction, and there's actually arrows on there that'll, that show you which way to turn it. Okay, and that's going to start pulling the line in. So you got to kind of hold it this with one hand and turn with the other. Okay. All right. Now that it's started, I'm just going to loop. All right. And you want to keep doing that until there's about five inches left. All right. Now we're good. All right, and that's all you need to do to replace the string on this. I was really afraid that I was gonna have to open this up and pull the spool out and wind it on by hand, but that was actually pretty easy. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with this setup. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, take care. So I do wanna take a moment to thank Christopher Farrington. He did send the Fix-It Shed a super thanks this week. If you aren't familiar with what a super thanks is, it's a way for the viewer to make a donation to a creator directly through YouTube. So anytime you think you might want to donate to a creator, you can just click on the thanks icon down below the video.